Only qualified personnel should service and install Napoleon appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video will demonstrate how to replace the hood light on a Napoleon Prestige Pro gas grill. To perform this service, you will need gloves, safety glasses, a Phillips screwdriver, vice grips, a quarter inch drive wrench or socket, and tape. To begin, disconnect all power sources from the grill, so it can be safely serviced. Remove the back cover, using a quarter inch drive wrench, or socket. The cover is located at the back of the grill, between the grill head, and the cabinet. Ensure the igniter block, and bracket, remain within the opening. Next, move to the front of the grill, and disconnect the cabinet light. Once disconnected, remove the white Molex, located in the center of the control box. This is the halogen and cabinet lights wire. Feed the halogen and cabinet lights wire, out of the hole in the top left corner of the cabinet. Once the wire is free, remove it from the clip that is securing it to the side of the cabinet, beside the grill head. Locate the new halogen and cabinet lights wire, and connect it to the control box. Take the opposite end of the new wire, and use tape, to secure it to the old wire. Feed both wires into the space beside the grill head, and move to the back of the grill. Locate the old halogen and cabinet lights wire, and pull it through the back of the grill. This will pull the taped end, with the new wire, through as well. Detach the old halogen and cabinet lights wire, from the hood lights, and connect the new wire in its place. At this point, plug in the grill, and turn on the control box, to test the operation of the hood lights. If the hood lights don't come on, you will need to replace the light. If only one hood light turns on, swap the bulbs between each side, to identify if a replacement bulb is required. To do this, locate the small nut, on the inner back corner of the grill head. Attach vice grips to it, to hold it in place. Close the grill's lid and move to the back of the grill, where you will need to remove the light wire cover, using a Phillips screwdriver. Disconnect the light wire, and move to the front of the grill. Open the lid, and remove the vice grips with the nut, the rotisserie, and the warming rack. With these removed, you can then gain access to the light, and remove it using a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the light, carefully pulling the wire through the inside of the grill. Once the light is removed, take note of the hole inside of the opening, which leads to the back of the grill. Locate the new light, and install it into the opening, ensuring that the Molex goes through the hole. Secure the new light, using a Phillips screwdriver. Head to the back of the grill, and close the lid to access the light wire. Plug in the Molex, and reinstall the light wire cover. Install the top first, ensuring the cover surrounds the wire entirely. Use your finger to hold the screw in place, while you resecure the light wire cover, using the nut on the inside. This step is easier if a second person helps hold the screw, or secure the nut. Replace the warming rack, and rotisserie. Before disconnecting the control box, and feeding the wires through the hole, in the top left corner of the cabinet. Reconnect the wires to the control box, and reconnect the cabinet light. Ensure the halogen and cabinet lights wire, is placed within the upper right clip. Reinstall the rear cover using a quarter inch drive wrench or socket. Start by reinstalling the rear igniter bracket, on the right side of the cover, before securing the outer edges. Lastly, run power back to the grill, and turn on the control box. This will allow you to test the lights, and ensure they are operating correctly.